Hello YouTube, it is Hannah from Smurgish here in another different location uh, because I am going to do another university homeware haul video. Um, before I introduce anything, I apologise that you can hear my fan going. It is humid again, uh, which means that it's, it feels hotter than it actually is. And also, if it's a bit distracting, let's address the fact that I'm wearing this weird, like, bandana situation. I need to wash my hair. Um, I'm going to do that this evening because I'll tell you more in a minute. But yeah, um, please remember to like this video. Just click on that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts and opinions. Without further ado, let's get into this haul. So actually before I start discussing all the things I got today, um, this is the last video that I'm going to have red hair um, for at least the foreseeable future because I am getting it dyed tomorrow. Uh, because I also, I hate myself and I can never do anything easily, let's sort this out my glass better, because I hate myself and I can never do anything in an easy fashion. Uh, I'm probably going to vlog tomorrow because I'm going to get my hair dyed. Um, I'm getting it professionally done because they need to lift it and stuff. Um, and then I'm also sort of packing, getting ready for bloodstock because that is on Thursday. I'm so excited. Um, it's Tuesday today, so Thursday. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably vlog all of that tomorrow. Um, yeah, uh, the last video that I've put up, because I will have put that one up before I put this one up, um, even though I know that when I'm filming this, when I'm filming this, I haven't actually put it up yet, was also like a more large homeware haul. So my mother and I went to the Into Centre in Watford today, not sponsored at all, um, don't think they even know who I am, um, for some shopping and I spent quite a lot of money but it was pretty much, I think everything I bought more or less is for uni, so that's good. Um, where should we start? Uh, in this bag, which is just a like a shopping bag, I went, this is really exciting, went into Lakeland, yeah, to get a few little bits, um, and I've actually got a voucher for Lakeland, um, so I can go back and get some more cooking stuff, um, that will give me £5 off if I spend £30, which isn't easy because Lakeland is expensive, but I got this, if you remember my last tour, I also got the general all purpose one, now this is the specifically kitchen one um which you can use for washing up which i thought was really good so i'm gonna use those then also because i know sometimes you need to have something i got this pack of microfiber kitchen sponges um which have a really good like scrubby end for scouring um yeah and you can machine wash these as well which is why i got them because then i don't have to re repurchase them uh, the last thing I got in Lakeland, I didn't get much, was this onion pod, which literally is, because there's only going to be one of me, um, unless I'm cooking in bulk, I'm only going to be using like half of a thing at a time. So I got this, and the idea is you stretch, this is stretchy, stretch it over it and it keeps it fresh, but you can use it for everything, like obviously it's not just for onions. They also had an avocado one, like avocado shaped, but I only ever really used like baby avocados, um, and that would more or less fit in there. So I can use this for lots of different things. So that's what I got in there. I then also went into Typo, which was bad of me. And I don't need notebooks and stationery, but I had to get this. Like, I think we all know why. And it's, it's the kind of notebook I would use because it's got lined paper. They don't seem particularly wide, but they don't seem particularly narrow. Um, I prefer narrow ruled paper. Um, but yeah, I just had to get this, so I will use this. And it's, you know, notebooks is always a really useful thing to have. Um, because I'm also one of these people that likes, when I'm writing an essay or something, I like drafting things by hand first. Um, and I like writing notes by hand. I don't like typing up notes. Um, so I will always need notebook paper. Um, I also had, I had a massive bag from Primark, but it's all taken out. First thing, this is something I definitely didn't need. But again, I couldn't not have it. 
and it's a Hufflepuff. Hello, has Badger, has dedication, patience, and loyalty. And then on the back, it's really nice as well. It just has like a Hufflepuff shield. Um, yeah, y'all know I like Hufflepuff, so. Um, and then the other things I got in a Primark, um, I got some straighteners. I actually really like the Primark, like electrical goods. Um, and my other straighteners kind of gone walkabout. I, I don't know where they are. Um, so I thought £10 for a pair of ceramic coated plates. Um, I've got the crimpers. I really, I use them all the time. They're really good. So yeah, straighteners. Um, I don't straighten my hair really. It's for trying to wave it because when I got my hair cut, the hairdresser waved it using straighteners and I really liked how it looked. Um, got some over the door hooks really exciting and um, this is probably going to be for my wardrobe for more hanger sort of dressing gown type um room and maybe even on my bathroom door um i got this little led light for you know relaxation um and because it's i think it's is it battery operated yeah it's battery operated um but yeah so and this wire basket which is cheaper than one i'd seen them in i think it was done and milk or somewhere this one was a fiver um so it's more expensive than the one i saw in b and m but or home bargain sorry but less expensive than the one i saw in dunelm um and i'm gonna use this for cleaning supplies so i can just pick up all have my cleaning supplies all in one place and you know save cupboard space um i'm probably gonna get a smaller one of these to put all my shower stuff in i'm not gonna get a shower caddy but i want something that i can put in the bottom of the shower so everything's all in there together that was primark um and then went into flying tiger i love this bag this bag is so cool um and i got this they say it's a coaster but i think it's more of like a almost like a trivet but i'm gonna have my teapot on this i got a i can't remember if i showed it on youtube but a while ago i got a teapot a loose leaf sort of loose leaf strainer built-in sort of teapot from ikea um so i'm gonna keep that on it i just thought it was quite cute it's a bit different for me um but i yeah i thought that was perfect and it wasn't too much money doesn't have a price on i think it was like three or four pounds i got this which is they say it's a breakfast cup but i i'm assuming i'm gonna use it for lots of different things it comes with a whoa <gasps> a, a spoon that was just trying to get away from me a spoon that's like attached to it um and it has your compartment which i'm guessing is for like your yogurt or milk or whatever and then your cereal but you can put i might even put like oats and then topping so that if i have to get up and go to campus or i want to go to campus all day i can take my breakfast already so yeah that's what i probably will use it for actually overnight oats and then fruit or whatever i want to put on the top and then just take it and eat it at uni that's probably what i'll use that for chopsticks I have got a pack of these somewhere, like not these exact ones, but chopsticks from Flying Tiger. Um, I don't know where they are. I'm, I wouldn't say it's pretentious, but I love using chopsticks to eat. Like I eat a lot of noodles and sort of Asian style food. Um, and I love using chopsticks. Um, I think also if you're, here's a pro tip. If you're trying to like watch what you're eating to lose a bit of weight, using chopsticks makes you slow down like you can't eat quickly unless you're like holding it up and shoveling it in you can't eat quickly with chopsticks so there's a pro tip um i got two of these photo frames i might even go back and get some more um because i want to print off or get get copies of loads of photos of my family and stuff um and i really liked they have like this metal corner detail which i, I think is how like the photo is kept in the frame but yeah i really liked it um they're cute i've got two of those um in here i'm only gonna unwrap, unwrap one these are two for pounds and they're little spice jars 
So I got four black ones and two white ones, um, which yeah, just spice stars. Um, if you know me, I love to cook and I love uh, using spices. Nathan, my BFF, always jokes that I talk about layering the food. So if you use herbs or spices, you add it in different layers. That's how I do it. Um, really exciting. I got a toilet roll, toilet brush. Uh, yeah, toilet brush. And I got a, they say it's a press pot, it's a cafetiere, um, which they say you can use for coffee and tea. Um, I assume you like put the loose leaves in and then like the, the same way that it strains the coffee grounds, it strains out the leaves when you pour it. Um, that's what I assume, but I, I will use this for coffee because I have my teapot, obviously. Um, I think there's, I think that's everything. Let me just check my receipt. Is that everything? Yes, it is. So, because I couldn't remember, the toilet brush was a fiver. Um, the cafetiere was four pounds. It's a pretty decent quality one, so that's fine. Um, the coaster was, oh, it was more expensive than I thought it was. It was seven pounds, but still, that's really useful. I need something like that. The only like other thing that I need, and I don't think this will be suitable for it because obviously it's fabric as I need a trivet for when I'm cooking. I mean, I do have a four hob, like a uh, four ring hob in my kitchen, but you know, always be on the safe side to have something specifically set aside okay and then went into the disney store and um, part of it was i wanted one of these bags i love these bags they're so useful for obviously going shopping but storing and carrying stuff um i didn't buy a mug you should all be really really proud of me but i treated myself to this guy this this isn't necessarily for uni but i will use them as a decoration and yes, it is a Christmas decoration. Disney store have their Christmas decorations up. So if you like me and you like Disney and you like Christmas, go see. And I spoke to the um, the person that served me um, and she said that actually a lot of the ones they have out this year are completely new. Uh, this is the Headless Horseman from the animation. I think it was The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, so it had like The Wind in the Willows and Sleepy Hollow in one, um, which used to be, me and my brother really liked it, I was terrified by it, but Sleepy Hollow is like, the Tim Burton film is one of my favourite films, and I did always like this, but there was a certain part that terrified me, and just look at him, he's so majestic, um, so yeah, I, I saw that as I came in, because the way the Disney store in Watford is like sat out, as it, the uh, Christmas display is like facing behind like the main display then there's a Christmas display so as you walk in you can kind of see it and I saw this guy and I was like is that is that and then it was so I was like okay getting you and then the other thing I got um I didn't get mugs but these were over with the mugs I wanted some little fake plant boys because I can't keep things alive but I like how they look so I got some little fake succulent boys from the Disney store. This one's in Groot's head. Groot, um, Groot is, is Groot my favourite overall of the Guardians of the Galaxy? I think he probably is. I also love Rocket, but I love Drax. But I think Groot is probably my favourite. So there's Groot. And this is cool. It's the poison apple from Snow White. This is like awesome. So yeah, got those little babies from the Disney store. And then the last place I went and I really needed to go, um, I needed to get some stationery uh, because, you know, um, I think I mentioned before, I'm gonna do, um, instead of having like a file for each module, that would be insane. I'm gonna have a folder for each semester so there's two semesters and then my dissertation period so these i went i i looked in ryman's and ryman's had like ryman's and wh smith ryman's had cuter colors like nicer colors but they were a bit more expensive so i went to smith's these were three four eight ninety nine so i've got three lever arch files purple black and yellow um i was tempted to go black yellow black 
or yellow black yellow but i thought no i get purple so one of these will be for uh my dissertation and research one of them will be for semester one and one of them will be for semester two um i've also got a small like ring binder rather than leave arch file which will be my daily file so when i i'll go take that one to uni put anything in it that i need i get or whatever and then bring it home and then sort it into the appropriate section um i then for those i got some file dividers uh these ones i don't know what these are made of but yeah so file dividers um um there's, these are a twin pack as well so i take the yeah, four um so i've got some square ones and uh this is really needed actually i got some post-its these are like really the long ones are they just yeah but these are made with renewable resources so i thought that was pretty cool um and there's 45 of them and they just lined so i can use them to, for shopping lists or whatever i want um and i got some of these page uh note markers because you know if i want to either for when if i'm writing an essay or doing research or even you know when i'm reading something before going to a seminar i want to mark pages or if in the seminar they say oh look at this bit then i can mark it and you know take notes or whatever and then this this was really unnecessary but when you see it you'll understand why and this is like 20 pounds normally um and it's the same on amazon as well but they had an offer where if you bought anything in the shop you would get this for 12 pounds i think instead of 20 oh my god look look and it's like got a desk they call it a desk set so it's got like a desk tidy so this black thing is literally like if you see the picture it sits on your desk like that and there are 15 colors all the pastels all the brights including like this color and this color this just made me so happy um and i've got my uh zebra mild liners but they're gonna be like for in my pencil case so i have this on the desk if i want to do some more heavy duty highlighting um which i will for like journals and articles and notes and all that sort of thing so yeah and that is everything i got on my latest uni homeware haul trip so uh there are a few things i have left to get a few things i have left to find that i've already got but i don't know where they are um and like i said it's bloodstock this week then i'm away with my mum to york next week and then after that we are in serious crunch time serious packing and sorting and getting ready mode and i'm like i'm terrified but also excited like it's getting it's really rare now um i'm filming this on the 6th it's exactly one month today that my dad and i travel northward for my move in which will be on the 7th so a month tomorrow i will be moving in to my accommodation it feels really real it feels really real now but yeah um anyway thank you for watching this video please remember to like check me subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye